Hello everyone, this is Casual Chaos with a, um, I guess an overall update of what's going on with, uh, speed duels and, uh, some information I want to give you guys. Well, anyway, so let's get started. Um, so right here, we just got, um, I guess, uh, was it y YGO organization release, um, a, um, was it on the 20th? They released, uh, I guess an article or something like that. Uh, I, I think it was like, like, I pretty sure it's like some European um, Konami page or something released this but like I'll read the statement well it's it's other Yu-Gi-Oh stuff but we're, we're a speed duel channel so we'll just concentrate on our stuff so rush duels will not be introduced to the TCG all right good um, that sounds awesome for now they will remain exclusive to Japan see though for now it makes it to where yeah, we're not gonna release it right now. That's what it sounds like to me. Like it'll eventually come. Um, cause like I said, once it's an anime, they're gonna try to make their money off of it. And um, yeah, I think Rush Wolves will come. Um, eventually, just if like if they would if they would tell me, oh, it's not gonna be an anime, I'll be like, okay, yeah, I believe it. I believe it's it's gonna just be a Japan thing. But nope, uh, it's going to be an anime, and I think they're going to want to make their money off of it. Um, yeah, so let's continue on with the, with the thing. Rush duels are presently considered the OCG equivalent to speed duels. Yes. Um, yeah, I guess they are right now. As of right now, yes. As I say, for now, they are the equivalent. That's what I'm going with. But yeah, so I just want to read that statement. Uh, maybe I'm being too neg negative, but yeah, that's what I believe that... Um, Rush Duels is coming eventually. Maybe, you know, it usually takes uh, like maybe a year before we get the dub version of the of whatever anime they have going on. So I think that's what it is. It's going to take a year or two before we get Rush Duels. So yes, I, I, the for now, I think they're leaving it open um, so they could do it. And um, yeah, so yeah, so that's that. Uh, let's go on to what, um, the other article I want to talk about. Uh, let's see right here okay uh yeah it looks like we're finally getting uh uh some star uh star decks well um we're finally getting um what's it called a something because uh was it i think it's already been a while since uh since the uh, trial kingdoms was out and since then since it's been out we haven't really got any any updates till now uh which is january 24th i guess um i think i saw some images where um well maybe not uh yeah but yeah well we're we're getting um sorry for that uh i was referring to some images i saw on um on facebook where um where they look like little uh packs like little speedo packs but i i think online where it wasn't it was like a summon school i think on the cover and i think they were saying it was like another special edition or something but it was just for the regular tcg stuff but anyways let's continue off um yeah so like normal each star deck is gonna be like 10 bucks um you can see it has the red one has pegasus and yugi on the cover and the other one has bakura and merrick on the cover so yeah uh so we're gonna have two all right, let's continue. Like always, they're gonna each one is like ten bucks or something like that. Um, so it says it's gonna be four uh, new card, four new skills. So I'm guessing uh, two skills for each character. And that's what it look, and that's what it sounds like to me. Um, what's, a, what's a little bit confusing is two ultra rare variant cards. That's the variant. It's kind of weird. Um, are we gonna get it where some of us do get it, some of us, some of us don't get that one card or something? So it might be yeah so i don't know what's going on with that that's what a little bit confusing so i guess they're called um let's see the pegasus the pegasus and yugi one is called match of millennium millennium and the uh, bakura merrick is called twisted dimer you know you can see that right there <clears throat> each one of them is going to have a uh, 31 cards i believe yep uh, each one of them is going to have 31 cards. Uh, they're going to introduce uh, Guy the Fierce Knight. Um, it's a support. So I'm guessing since they, it does have its own archetype in the regular TCG, I'm guessing they're going to release some of that stuff. So that's pretty cool. That's gonna We're going to get a new uh, 
a new deck, I guess, or a new variant or whatever we could do. And it's I think it's Warrior Dragon Base or something. That's nice. Um, Black Luster Soldier. Um, we do have a lot of... Um, it's getting released also, and we do have a lot of Warrior support. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of... I'm pretty sure it's going to be like... Um, it's, uh, it's already better than um, Magician of Black Chaos, I think, by that, by the standard of hey, already having more Warrior support. And, uh, well, that's the Yugi stuff. For the Pegasus, we're getting uh, some Toon Monsters, which is awesome because uh, we need it. I'm on it, on, on, I'm hoping for a Toon Kingdom. That's, uh, I think it's like, a, it's for going for like 20 bucks or something. Even the rare is like 15 or something like that. So, yeah, we if we could get that reprint, that would be awesome. Even for me, my regular um, Toon deck, it really needs it. I had to sell my, my Secret Rare First Editions. Um, but yeah, I, so I'm trying to, hopefully I get some, but yeah, um, hope uh, I'll make the tunes really awesome. I doubt we'll get it. That card's way too strong. It might be a skill of anything. We get something like, it'd be like a, just skill to like power creep, uh, the tune roll skill. But yeah, um, yeah, that'd be awesome. Some tune cards make, make it a little more, uh, legit. And, uh, Thousand Eyes Strix is a big deal. Um, I guess I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get like insta fusion or anything like that. But uh, just having a fusion deck that's now le more legit, that's pretty cool. Because I have dabbled in some of the fusion decks. Um, they're pretty good, but you know they're not m more like a tier two kind of thing where they could compete, but they're not gonna win anything. They probably get a, if they're lucky, maybe a local, but not like a big tournament. But yeah, so it doesn't matter. Strict, awesome. Um, let's move on to what's going to be in the um, uh, Twisted Nightmare, the one with the American uh, Bakurum. So, let's see. We have um, Dark Necrofear, which is awesome. So, it looks like we're getting more, um, like, easy special summon support. Like, easy, um, like, boss monster special summon support. And, like, Dark Necrofear. So, I'm guessing we might be leaning more to the, um, um, I guess like a um, morphine kind of meta, I guess. Uh, with Dark Ruler Hades, that's also awesome. Maybe Jinzo one day soon to come. We're getting Dark Ruler, uh, Dark Ruler Hades. Uh, for the Mary side, we're getting Lava Golem and the Dark Luscious. I think that I'm not sure, but I'll, 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 we'll talk about those other cards. But Lava Golem is pretty good. It's like um um well a little uh, well it's it, it's a game changer just because it's like sort of like it just triggers your opponent monster and if they have like some boss monsters that's pretty cool i guess like more like a kaiju kind of thing for us um and the dark lucius i think there's level monsters i'm not 100 percent. i'll switch them in a little bit but yeah i think we're getting introduced to some level monsters that's pretty cool maybe we'll have a skill um revolving the dark lucius or lucius i don't know but yeah um so that's that so that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm not sure if they have we have a date yet. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's just right now. That's all the info we have for that. So yeah, um, we'll look up the the monsters. Okay. All right. So let's going on. Uh, these are the dark luscious monsters, and like I said, they are level uh monsters so yeah i think we are going to be introduced to um yeah to some of these cards so that's pretty cool uh we're finally getting some levels um which is probably the best time to get levels since uh, right now the games the it's pretty um slow the game stage is pretty slow for um for Yu-Gi-Oh, uh for speedos i don't know if we're gonna how many levels we're gonna get but yeah, I just thought I should show you guys some of the, um, yeah, some of the monsters. And uh, let's see. So moving on. All right. Uh, this is Dark Nickel Fear. Um, like I said, it's uh, it requires some fiends uh, to banish, and then you, you're able to special summon. You guys can read the text that you want to, pause it or whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, this is going to be uh, it's game changing and it's going to be pretty strong. All right, let's move on. So let's check out Dark Ruler. All right, 
it's dark ruler hades or hades i don't know whatever you want to call it but yeah it's um it does a number on effect monsters so that's pretty cool <coughs> uh, sorry um yeah so let's check out um the other one i wanted to check i wanted to see so i'm pretty sure you guys know what lava golem does um tribute two monsters on opponent's field and uh they lose a thousand i believe um like on your on their turn or your turn i don't know um but it's pretty good uh but uh, the one i want to check out is the gaia cards or gia all right well these are the stuff that's popping out so i'm for sure it's gonna be probably this guy the normal one uh, the fusion one seems probably like the best time to put it. It's uh, where the it's not bad. <clears throat> these are more. These are my questions. The uh, this one. Uh, these are the ones I'm questioning, which I hope we do get. Uh, let's see. I don't know about that. This also is pretty good. We might get that. It's not really seeing any meta play or anything like that. So, like. Uh, we know it's going to be just fine. Yeah, I think we're also getting um, Black Luster Soldier. I don't know which Black Luster Soldier. That would be pretty cool if we get a variant. I doubt it might be too strong for us to get a variant, this variant or something. But yeah, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what uh, we might be looking at. Also, I uh, wanted to do like a... Um, I guess app review i guess uh just just because i i've seen people ask like um what do you use um what do you use to like make decks or like what do you recommend to help me make decks or something like that so i'm using um i think it's called ygo pro let me find out yeah uh ygo deck oh sorry it's called ygo deck <coughs> oh, sorry excuse me it's called YGO deck um this is the one i recommend and it has it where like i think it's like uh it's free it's free but if you purchase the i think it's like five bucks or something like that. i'm not sure but you purchase it you could download the cards into your um into the your phone so where it takes quite a bit of uh i think space but i think it's worth it because it's not online so you download all the other cards into the, your phone and then you're able to like mess around with it um these are some of the features just wanted to kind of like a this is my favorite one i've tried like almost everything and um yeah this has a dual calculator um you could share decks or whatever like that um let's see also when um when you purchase the app when you that goes the pro or whatever you want to call it you're able to um uh to go in another phone like if you 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 have to save it i think that's what it is you have to save the your info and yeah you save it and then you could go to another phone and then they'll have all your decks or whatever like that um yeah so like as you can see like i got a skull servant deck and i put the skill right under it you're able to you're able to write on the on right there so i have it to where like go on deck notes that's where i put the skill i'm using um let's see so like right now as you can see it's um i have this one so i could just because it's, it's alphabetically ordered so that's the first one you see i have it as one so i could alphabetically uh see my speedo decks first and uh the neat thing i did was um I created like a deck or whatever, supposedly. But I put in this deck, I put every single speed duel card out there, so I don't have to. Um, I don't have to wonder what's if I'm trying to make a deck. I could just uh, if you click on this uh, like I don't know filter thing, um, you're able to put in what you want, or like if you're looking for oh I like for something specific. Or like, uh, what's the monsters right now? If I want to make a ritual deck, like, what's the, what's the monsters right now that I can make a ritual deck with in speed duels? And that's it. They pop up. 
so that's stuff like that where i think it's really awesome and you just refresh and then you go to attack well i mean yeah, yeah. Oh, there it goes. I just go to attack. I think I find it more organized that way. But yeah, like that's how I'm able to kind of like make my decks instead of having. Well, instead of having to go on like um, dueling book, and having like it is available in dueling book, and sometimes like it's hard. you could use it on your phone, but sometimes it's difficult to like you know you have those fat fingers or whatever like that, like me, where it's sometimes hard to do it. I just want just just want to let you know that you have this option. And I think this is awesome. It works for me just fine, and in you know, better than I think and other things, because like I, I I tried some of the other apps. I didn't like the images or whatever like that. They have it. Like I like this where you're able to see the card. There's other options, which I think most of the apps have it like this, which I hate because I I want to see it every I want to see everything. They also have it like that. I want to see it this way. I guess I'm more of a visual learner, you could say. So I like it this way, but yeah. So I made it to where like I'm able to see every card right now out in speed duels. So I'm uh, with the you know touch of a button, I could filter whatever I want. Like I said, like you can see, there's no uh, synchros and stuff like that. <clears throat> but yeah, um, let's see. You can't filter fusions because uh, they're in the extra deck part. They automatically go to the extra deck. These are all the extra deck cards, I guess. Yeah, so I just want to show you guys that. So if you guys want to try it, they're all my decks. Also have um. Also sometimes I'm I'm so I'm I even use it for my regular game. Like um, <clears throat> I'm trying to get like some. I, I just bought some Lansing cards, and I put the cards I'm missing for the Lansing cards. So even like that, like when I go to a card shop, I'm like. Uh, I remember I, I wasn't sure. Uh, like I remember I, I needed some Atlantic cards, but I don't. I, I forgot which ones I needed. Whatever, I'll just put the what the whatever cards I the cards I'm looking for there, and it starts like a checklist also for the deck. I for the decks you're looking for, and I just put the cards I'm missing that I want for it in my side deck. But yeah, so it's more of like a, I guess I wanted to give you guys like an app review of this, and I think it works perfect. Um, uh, it's it would be awesome if they had more of a, it was more speed duel stuff related but they don't so i made it myself and i think it works fine but yeah i just want to give you guys that that info um yeah an app info uh, uh some information on star decks and um what i think about the rush duel thing um but yeah um so if you like this content hit like and subscribe like a boss thank you guys for watching bye